this is auto. So very good reach. Your hands are sort of extending all the way out, so you want those hands to enter the water a little earlier, and then the arm extends under the water. Hips and legs a little low, so working on the kick technique is going to help, but you're, you're not lifting your head to breathe, so that's good. Alright, so here you can see how your rotation is, how your extension is. Like I said, uh, your extension is good, just let your hand come into the water a little sooner. It's going directly in front of your shoulder, which is where you want to be, or even slightly wide, that's completely fine lifting your head a little when you turn to breathe. That's better on the uh, hand entry. That's good. Alright, so underwater. What's going on here? With that right arm, you're getting the elbow slip effect, where your elbow's coming back towards your torso. Uh, your, or another way of looking at it is that your hand and forearm have not gone vertical in the water. You want them to go vertical early in the stroke. And your left arm, a little similar, a little more straight armish, meaning that uh, the upper arm and forearm are more one line. There's still some elbow leading the stroke back. But for both of these, the goal will be to uh, get your, as you reach forward, you, you internally roll or shrug the shoulder. Your elbow will pivot outward somewhat and then try to, try to angle your hand and forearm down or vertical to the bottom so that when you're pulling, you're getting more resistance from the water or you're pulling more water. Uh, that's the real key with the, the pull. So here, you can see that you're reaching in front of your shoulder. As you turn to breathe, your left arm really pulls under your torso quite a bit. That's a, that's a longer term project to fix. The, the goal would be to delay the start of your left hand pull until your face is turning back into the water and you get a more effective stroke that way. So looking at the right, nice extension, good rotation, no problems there. Uh, and then what you want to see is hand and form going vertical already. And so what you have going on is uh, form is more parallel to the bottom. The hand is somewhat vertical. So uh, in that first third or half of the stroke, you have a lot of room for uh, more power development if you're able to get the, the vertical form or high elbow catch, whatever you want to call it. Now, high elbow doesn't mean that your elbow is high relative to the surface of the water. It's just high over your hand. Left arm, good, good, you know, reach forward, no problem, other than the hand entry, let your hand come in the water a little earlier. And then sort of similar where the elbows coming back towards the torso forearm is still somewhat parallel it's a little more vertical on this side so one arm drill thinking about the vertical forearm uh, fist with paddle drill maybe some dog paddle drill uh, and just keep working on that technique that's really it for you